Hey everybody, I'm Brian Barnes with Growing in Torah. We are really excited today to be able to come out and share a little bit about our farm with y'all and, and maybe some uh, teaching from the Torah right along with it. I'm very excited today to be able to have uh, Richard Molinar from the retired from UC Cooperative Extension, right? Correct. And so he's going to be out here helping us, showing us what to do. Anyway, uh, Richard, what are we doing here? Well, we wanted to thin the uh, these second-year vines, uh, this, this particular wine grape variety. The two that you have out here, the Zinfandels and the Cabernets, uh -huh. are both spur pruned. And uh, most of most of my experience is vegetables, but we've done some work with grapes, and and most of it was table grapes. So yeah. <laughs> we're kind of we're kind of shooting from the hip here, right? As far as wine grapes, but still the principles are the same. You know, when you spur prune, we're going to prune up and, and try to encourage the one main uh, trunk that you have here Brian right and you can see that there's quite a bit of other growth mixed in here and it's actually coming from way down here right so we and this is taking energy away from the main trunk which is right here this woody one right so the idea is to prune and thin branches so that we encourage the growth to go to the main trunk this will be the one main trunk coming up maybe four feet like you wanted to do. Uh -huh. And then we'll have the spur method, I guess we can discuss later on. Yeah, when the, uh, uh, probably next year, when we get that main trunk. We'll get uh, the main trunk coming up maybe four feet. Uh -huh. And then we'll have a branch coming out this way and a branch coming out this way with each one with six or seven spurs. And then off of these spurs will come branches six right. or seven branches and then at some point we're going to uh, the pruning in the winter will keep those to two to three buds and then those will then grow out and higher up and that's where we'll get all of our fruit right uh from all of those so right. it's pretty exciting even the stuff that you've already said you know scripturally spe speaking uh the things you've already said about you know we've got this these shoots coming up from down down uh, way down here that are not going to do any good for us in training up a a strong trunk and you know just uh, I mean what does that make you think of spiritually speaking you know there's a lot of things we need to have be strengthened in in Yeshua uh, our main trunk uh, that main vine well it's, and it's the it's the milk and the meat yeah idea uh, you know you feed something milk for a while and, and build it up and get it strong and and then you can start giving it the more meatier type of scriptures to that's right and but what happens very often is we as young uh, plants if you will we get a lot of distractions that want to suck away you know we get off into here and this and that and all these crazy things when really we need to focus on the really weightier things, the so things that TV, well, parties, yes, are yep. those are the kinds of distra distractions you're thinking of, or those, or other? and they're even spiritual distractions, yeah. like you know that we're not really ready for yeah. things that don't really. We need to focus in on the what are the what is the greatest of all these things? First Corinthians chapter thirteen. The greatest of these all these wonderful things is love. Love. I know it's, you know, we talk about it all the time, but that's, those are his words. The greatest of these is look, focus on those things, get that trunk really strong, and then later on, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. or as we grow, then we're going to see those things, and we'll be able to take pruning later. But right mm -hmm. now, we're focused on this plant, getting it to grow up to that main, getting that main vine really main established. Strong trunk. And so, yeah, strong trunk. And so uh, that's what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and work on this little plant here okay. and uh, get it to where it needs to be. So um, we're gonna just pull up this uh, sheathing right now. And by the way, because people are gonna wanna know, why do we even put that on there? Well, the, the, the carton, the milk, card, milk cartons are uh, to keep the little critters from gnawing on the, the trunks of the trees or the vines in this case. And, so you get gophers, you get, this isn't going to help you with gophers, but uh, against squirrels and, and mm -hmm. mice, mice in particular, that's the main thing. Right. Um, and so it provides a little bit of protection. Correct. We, we uh, put a little covering around it to provide, and you know, when I very first planted these two, uh, as an extra added protection, I wanted to put the milk cartons on, because 
I should have planted them more in the winter, but I planted them in the summer, and that sun was just and for sunburn. So yeah, a little bit of sunburn yeah. too. So yeah. anyway, so I assume we're gonna cut this off right yeah. here. Yeah, that's one one of the distractions. Let's get rid yeah, of that let's distraction. Get rid of that distraction. And uh, okay, I think that was the main one down here. We'll just pull that out. Which one is it here? It's this a little one. difficult this to do here. sometimes. Get it all. There's. So this. That was a big distraction. Yeah. That's sucking a lot of uh, a lot of energy from the absolutely trunk. and look how healthy this one is look how big it is compared to even the main branch that we want it's it's really taken over and we're thinking we're thinking it's hard to tell down here at the graft but we're thinking that maybe this came from below the graft and uh, so it might, it might be from the root stalk that's that's what we're kind of thinking right and and so this is this is actually of no value this is a different variety if this is zinfandel this if it's below the graph this is the rootstock and this is going to be of something else some other variety <laughs> there's just teachings everywhere isn't it yeah there is. we don't want we we want the fruit that we had intended to grow right and if it like you said if it's coming from something else we're not going to get it so i'm going to reach down in here and uh, pull off some of these other ones Right, this one I'm going to have to cut. And then now I'm going to go just about, what did you say, about three quarters of the way up off this main right. branch. And we're just going to cut these off here. So the main branch is pretty pretty easy to identify. It's the it's the woody mm -hmm. the woody bark branch the established, here. established. Yeah, and uh, everything else is green and succulent. Right. Of course, being careful, I almost cut off a uh, main branch on that first one we did <laughs> just getting too much in a hurry uh you know so now you can pull these off just like you're doing you can mm -hmm. pull them off by hand but uh, a lot of the times i just use the clippers if, if they get to... too big you got to use the clippers okay so now what are we doing up here we're not going to go all the way uh we're keeping some of this why do we want to keep i mean obviously we're not going to just cut it like that but why are we keeping some of this because the the plant needs a certain amount of leaves to produce food uh, with photosynthesis and the sun right the sun is is providing food for us <laughs> okay. is that an analogy yeah, absolutely <laughs> they're they're everywhere s-o-n or s-u-n <laughs> both <laughs> and so we're leaving a certain number of leaves on here for photosynthesis so right. it'll uh, send sugars back down make sugars up here and send them back down to the root and, and make food for the, the uh, trunk to grow okay perfect so uh i think we're done with this i guy. think this one looks good yeah we've pruned up about two-thirds from the base two-thirds to three-fourths and okay i think we're good until next year all right well we have a lot of work to do out here so uh just want to thank you guys for joining us uh, and if you have any questions or comments, please just uh, write me at brian at growingintora.com. And I've got Richard right here to be able to help me answer those questions I don't know. And uh, we're very excited to see where this is going to take us. And uh, we'll see you next time.